Hi everyone, Fatma here from Addictive Tips and I'm going to show you how you can connect a PlayStation 4 controller or a generic PlayStation controller to your Windows 10 PC. If you have a wired controller or if you have a USB dongle that goes with your controller, go ahead and connect it to your Windows 10 system. Windows 10 is going to automatically detect the controller and install drivers for it. If you have a controller that connects via a Bluetooth dongle, it's going to appear in the settings app under devices and Bluetooth. If you have a Bluetooth controller, what you need to do is open the settings app and go to the devices group of settings. Select Bluetooth and make sure that Bluetooth is turned on and then click this add Bluetooth or other devices button. On your controller, you need to press the PlayStation and the connect button at the same time. And this is going to put the controller in pairing mode. It should appear here and when it does, you can pair it. Now for generic controllers and sometimes for PlayStation 4 controllers, the controller doesn't install correctly and in that case you need to install drivers for it. To do that, download an app called DS4 Windows. Make sure your controller is not connected to your Windows 10 system when you run this app. Click this option to install drivers and allow the drivers to install. Once it's installed, you can use the app to configure the controller if you want, but it's not necessary. The controller should start working. Now the DS4 application does run into problems. And if you're not able to use your controller after installing these drivers, you can try another app called Input Mapper. Go ahead and install the app and it's going to install a bunch of drivers and services as well. And once it's done, you can create profiles for the controller that you're using. Now these are two apps that help you connect generic and official PlayStation 4 controllers to a Windows 10 system, but there are plenty of other apps out there that can also help you if these apps aren't working. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later with more tech tips.